Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape 3 from scratch. I have discovered my new favorite AFK activity. I don't know what these lightning sounds are, what the hell? Anyways, I've discovered my new favorite AFK activity and that is here at the Incandescent Energy. We have AFK'd quite a bit here. Maybe a little bit, I'd say. Here's what we've ended up with. <laughs> at first I was doing it manually, like getting the energy and then converting to energy here. But then someone told me it's actually more GP per hour to use the Divine Omatic, so I've been using that. And here is what we've gathered, so let's go ahead and throw this in the price check and see exactly how much I've made while AFKing. Yep, there's 53 mil, uh, not really bad at all, this is a pretty good AFK. I'd say it's probably about 3 million gold per hour at the moment. Uh, also, I think Divine Energies, are, or Divine Charges, I'm sorry, are a bit above regular price since Double XP Weekend is coming up. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but like I said, I still want to get a Nox Staff this month. It's the 29th of January, and I still need to get, I think, 360 quest points to complete my goals. So, yeah, we got a bit of money to make, and we got a few quests to do, but I think we can knock them out pretty quickly. Alright, here we go. We're about to sell all the Divine Charges and Incandescent Energy, and there we go, 57 mil. Looking pretty good, and how much do we need for a knock staff? Uh, it should be just around, I think, 100 mil. Oh, okay, maybe it's a little bit more than I thought. 143 mil right now. Is that really how much the spider leg is going for right now? That's insane. I thought it was only going for like around 120. Nope, it's like 143. Okay, perfect. So all we gotta do is make like 100 mil in the next two days. And there we go. There's the Lord of Vampirium quest finished. Feels bad, man. But we got some good stuff. We got the Sun Spear, which I probably should have got before I maxed because it's really good for, you know, killing fires and stuff like that. And we got the uh, Tome of Fourth, uh, Tome of XP 4th Edition. And I am going to, once again, do something that will upset everybody and put all of the experience <laughs> into Dungeoneering. Because if I can do as little Dungeoneering as possible, I'm going to do as little Dungeoneering as possible. And there we go, the conclusion of the Vampire Quest line, River of Blood is complete we get all these nice rewards now we have the true sun spear which we can augment now and go just afk for days out there in uh... not mauritania darkmire whatever it's called and uh... yeah we should go back and talk to venescula for a secret about blood essences and stuff like that and look at this wait where is it here it is another tome of experience another tome of triggering as i put it all into dungeoneering <laughs> Yep, six more quest points to go, and we will be at our 360 quest point goal for the month, so let's go do some more quests. Alright, there we go, we have completed the bringing home the bacon quest. I have no words for this quest, this is quite something, and uh, here we can upgrade the uh, pig machine, which of course I made into a prayer pig machine. And one more time, come on, smash that mother heckin' pig button, and we will get, I believe, wait, what? What? I thought you got a mass quest cape. Th one second. All right. Well, I changed it to a combat one, and there we go. We got it. Last of the summer swine. Mass quest cape requirement down. All right. There we go. Rag and bone man is complete. Two quest points. Just three more left to go. And you know what? I think while we're here, we might as well knock out his wish list as well. I mean, <laughs> as you can see, it's going to be a total pain in the ass. But you know, why not? We're going to have to do it eventually, anyways. And we just finished up a little. Uh, mini quest with Skippy. I'm pretty sure it's a master quest cape requirement and we got the uh, milk of chocolate snape of grass. Oh my god we're finally done with the Dragon bone man wish list quest mini quest. It's not even a quest anymore you don't even get a quest point for it so I guess we'll take the bone sack because why not. There we go. 5,000 prayer XP. Totally worth it. And oh. You know I thought that was a comp requirement or a master quest cape requirement but Maybe it's not. And there is the fur and seek quest done. Just one quest point off from my goal. And now he's got a fur wish list, which... Oh my god, are you serious? Wait, what? There's more bones? What? Oh my god. Okay, well that's going to be fun. We're not doing that now, though. Hell no, we're not doing that now. So just one more quest point and we will be done. So I think we're going to go do the easiest quest that I can find on my list. And there we go, Perils of Ice Mountain, the hardest quest in the game, is complete. And now we have 360 quest points, which was our goal for this month. So, ooh, Knowledge of Ice Mountain. Oh, 500 experience and four different skills? Jesus, dude. These quest rewards are getting out of hand. Oh, my God. Let's see what we get from our Treasure Hunter keys. Assassin's Walk, please. Oh, God damn it. I wanted to be Naruto. All right, here we are. A little party here in, uh, where is this? Birthorp. Oh, Stylor needs money really bad, guys, just so you know. 
uh, little get together here because we're going to siphon this gear. And boom, our first 120 has been achieved. Invention. True skill mastery. Not that, not that bitch ass fake skill mastery. Now we're really, well, not maxed yet, technically, I guess, if you want to go like that. Still got to get 120 Slayer and 120 Dungeoneering, but, uh, yeah, there's our first 120, and I guess we might as well go get the cape. Is the cape even, I don't even, uh, let's go get the cape. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's grab our Invention Master Cape. Let's see how this thing looks. Yes, I know it costs 120k. I know I'm wasting my cash. I don't give a shit. All right, so let's see. Let's zoom in here on the back. Look at that max cape, but boom, the invention. Ma oh, kind of, yeah, eh, it looks all right. It's, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world. You can boost 121 invention, by the way. But yeah, is there an emote to go along with this? Let's see. Let's see. Do they still have skill cape emotes in you know 2018? Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna try and find this. Okay, I finally found it. It took me like 15 minutes, but here we go. Cape emote. Let's go. 120 invention emote right here, boys. Oh. Yep, yep, grab those components, smash them together. Oh, we're climbing on the desk. Oh my god. Had to climb up there to reach them. They're kind of flying away. Smash it together, put the light bulb in a uh, bouquet of... Uh, oh, nope, it's a lightning bug. Okay, that's creative, I guess. Alright, we just finished our first Calgarian Demons task. And uh, this is the loot. It's actually a pretty interesting task because the average drop is worth a decent amount of money. Like, almost every kill I was getting like a 30k... Uh, drop which is really nice you can see the normal loot totaled up to over a mil and I know I got well over 1 mil in alks probably even closer to 1.5 mil in alks so like a 2.5 mil task the only downside is is that it takes a while to complete so yeah if it was faster I mean these tasks would be amazing but I'm still gonna do them because there is a trimmed comp requirement to get all of these special title drops from these guys I'll probably never get trimmed comp but it is an achievement that I'd like to get okay okay that's too fucking much okay Okay, I I kid you, I literally, this is my first kill. First kill, arena expires in 60 minutes, first kill, Crest of Zeros. You know, I was like, you know, oh, am I going to make the money to get to uh, the Nox staff before next month? And here we are, we just, uh, all we got to do is one kill of Vindicta, and we got all the money we need. I, I seriously don't know what's happening, I really want to apologize to everybody for my luck. It feels kind of dirty. But yeah, there's Crest of Zeros, which basically means the Vindicta uh, boss log is free. It's free now because we've got uh, got the Dragon Rider Lance. we got the Crest of Zeros. All that we don't have, I think, is Zerosian Essence, which is like a 1 in 64 drop, so that's super easy to get. The Pet, which we've already reached one threshold for. And then all the Animal Core stuff, which we can get from other bosses. So, I mean, we're pretty much set for getting this uh, boss title, which is pretty badass. Okay. Well, you remember what I said two kills ago about how all we need is the zero C in essence. Well, we no longer need the zero C in essence. That <laughs> that means we literally have everything except Rorvec in three kills. Well, actually, we already had a zero C in essence apparently. But yeah, so all we need is Anima Core stuff now, which means that I I will and the boss pet. I'm sorry, we need the uh, the dragon boss pet. I can't even remember what his name is Gorvec. And uh, then we're done. We did it. We have the Dragon Rider title, which is one of my favorite titles in the game. I'd really love to get this, but it basically means that all I have to do is kill Vindicta until I get the pet, which means I could just mass it until I get like 1,200 kill count and then get the pet in like five minutes, which I'm not going to do because that's kind of cheesy. But And then all I have to do is just kill other God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses and uh, get the Animal Core stuff. So this is really fucking exciting. I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm just really excited. Okay. Okay. All right. That's the end of the hour. The arena's now expired. And, uh... <laughs> there's, one on, there's, there, there's one hour of Vindicta, folks. That is literally every single unique you can get from this boss in one hour. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even mad. Jagex, seriously. Seriously, thank you. All right, there we go. We're at 113 million gold. Basically 114. Oh my god. So let's see. How much do we need for that Nox staff again? 140? <laughs> it's actually starting to look more possible as every moment passes by. So uh, 
maybe we should keep doing Vindicta. I don't know, that double drop rate chance, it, uh, it seems to be helping a lot. So I've had the stuff to unlock this for a while, but I don't know why I put it off, but let's buy the Bone Crusher upgrade real quick. 25,000 chimes, 25 Taijitu, quite expensive, and there is a comp? Master comp? I don't know, it, it's some completionist requirement out of the way. And the reason I want to get this upgrade is because it is very useful while killing uh, frost dragons because it will automatically pick up their bones, you can use winter storage on it, whatever, and it's a pretty decent money making method so I think what I'm going to go do is actually try that out and let you guys know how it is. Okay, so I went ahead and did frost dragons for one hour and as you can see we got just about 430 kills, maybe a little bit more, I may have missed some frost dragon bones because I wasn't paying enough attention or whatever, but here are the costs of the hour. Uh, 1.3 million gold in cost just to kill these things for an hour and use notepaper, yak tellies, uh, holy overloads and stuff like that. And here is the profit we got from it. Uh, let's throw all these in. Then the frost dragon bones. And that, holy smokes. Okay, so let's get a little calculator out. 6389432 minus the 1.3 million in upkeep. That's not right. Wait a minute. <laughs> Glad I caught myself. And yeah, 5 mil an hour. Pretty much, yeah. So it's 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 a really good method actually for making money. Uh, it's not super hard. It's not super intensive. You just got to make sure to use as many winter storage scrolls as you can to increase the profit. And yeah, five million an hour is really not bad for how low effort and low requirements frost dragons are. Oh my God! Rerolled this easy clue into what I assume is a fortunate component. I don't know why the hell else it'd be worth 600k. That's gotta be a fortunate. Hey, check this out you guys. I just finished my uh, daily challenge. Just got my pay to win treasure hunter keys and I just noticed we crossed over half a billion experience. So yeah, pretty badass milestone. I would not be surprised if we crossed over a billion at some point on this account. I mean, it's something I'd definitely like to do in the future and with how fast you gain experience just doing combat pretty much anywhere, I don't think it's all that crazy to think that we'll get that this year. Alright, so just to catch you guys up, I did like an hour of Grigorovic, I did another hour or two of Vindicta, and I've done quite a bit at the Frost Dragons, probably like three hours today of Frost Dragons, and we have done it. We have acquired a Noxious Staff for just about 1.44, I'm mean, sorry, 144 mil, and uh, that's less than I was hoping to get it for. I had an offer in for 144 mil, and I wasn't buying. So I took it out and put this one in, and I got it for less than 144 mil, so... I mean, I'm not complaining. There is our Noxious Staff, our second tier 90 weapon. And uh, we just have one more left to get, the Noxious Scythe. So let me pull up my January goals real quick. And that is actually the last one we had to complete. So there we go. I did everything I wanted to do in January. Save that bad boy. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Let's augment this bad boy. Ooh, nice. So I made the augmenters for the Nox Staff, and I was like, we should really try for P4E2. But this is the second best thing, P3E2. This is the only perk that is not P4E2 that is better than Precise 5, uh, as far as I know. You guys may correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so that is probably what we'll put on there if we don't manage to get the uh, ever so sought after Precise 4 Equilibrium 2, which is just ridiculously rare. I don't even think I've ever seen a Precise 4 uh, while making gizmos, as you can see, you can just knock through so many weapon gizmos and absolutely never get it. So let's augment our Noxious Staff. Yep. Let's do it and let's find our, there it is, Precise 3 Equilibrium 2, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, where's the where's the character? Here we go. No, let's get rid of that. And let's put on our Noxious Staff. Look at that bad boy. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Finally, after so long, we got another Nox weapon. Let's go. Oh, well, I decided to make uh, 60 gizmo shells, and holy shit, look at that. We just got P4E2. Now, granted, it's much more common since I've hit 120 invention. I don't know if the virtual levels increase the statistical odds of getting this, but holy shit, that is literally the best weapon gizmo you can get in the game, basically. So, yeah, I just put P3E2 on my Nox staff. But now we have P4E2. I don't remember how you get an uh, augmentation off of a weapon if you can take it off at some point or if you have to disassemble the entire weapon to get it. So until I figure that out, I'm just going to bank this bad boy and we're going to save it for uh, the future staff of Sliske that I will get at some point. But yeah, there's a P4E2. Oh my god. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. I'm pretty damn happy we've acquired our second tier 90. And uh, I can't wait to finish the entire set. So in the next part, we're definitely going to be taking this bad boy out to some bosses and trying it out. Since magic is 
pretty much the best combat style in the game, let's be honest. It's way more powerful than all the other ones, thanks to all these incredible threshold abilities and stuff. So, tier 90 is probably going to be way better. Here are our levels, and here are the stats for the video. We have played 49 hours since the last part and gained just over 10.3 million experience, and we crossed over the half a billion XP threshold, which is pretty sick. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to gently caress that like button down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Also, make sure to check out my Twitter because I post memes there and stuff sometimes. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time where we kill stuff with the Nox staff. Goodbye.